the lead up to Las Vegas' first ever Super Bowl. That's this week on the Battle Week. Support for Nevada Week is provided by Senator William H. Hernstadt. Welcome to Nevada Week. I'm Amber Renee Dixon joining you from Allegiant Stadium, site of Super Bowl 58 between the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. This is also the site of Super Bowl's opening night. There are 6,000 plus members of the media accredited to cover the big game. Many of them are here and this is the only public appearance that players are making ahead of the Super Bowl. There is only one player from from Nevada playing in the big game, and that is the man behind me, wide receiver Brandon Ayuk of the 49ers. We spoke with him about growing up in Reno, about the importance of wearing a Cameroonian flag on the back of his helmet, as he is of Cameroonian descent, and about the growth of professional sports in Nevada. What does the city of Reno mean? Uh, it's a place where I grew up. It's a place where I fell on my face. It's a place where I got up. Um, it's a place where I met lifetime friends. Um, it's a place where I fell in love with playing football. It's a place where I have a bunch of family now still today. Um, so I'm excited that they're getting the love that they deserve um, here in these past couple of weeks. Just being a kid, getting in trouble, you know, little stuff. Shout out to the NFL and to our equipment for allowing us to do that because I felt like that was a super cool um, part of the league that we got to add this season. Um, and it's been fun to wear throughout the season and to get to wear it one more time on the biggest stage. Um, it's exciting. It's fun. Is it? Are the A's coming? Uh, supposedly. supposedly. That would be cool, too. That would be cool, too. I think uh, it was exciting. I was in Reno when I think Vegas, when the, the hockey team, the Knights, right? when they won, um, so that was exciting. And I don't know, hopefully hopefully, people can start looking at Nevada as a professional hub um, for athletes and more stuff like big events like the Super Bowl. On the Chiefs side of the ball, we got to talk with Kansas City tight end Travis Kelsey, better known to some as Taylor Swift's boyfriend. She is coming off making some history. Now she has won four Grammys for Album of the Year. Travis and the Chiefs are attempting to make history of their own, trying to become the first team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls since the Patriots did it back in 2004. We asked him about that as well as about a Vegas wedding. I've been on a mission ever since I won my first Super Bowl. Uh, we, we made it back to, to the Super Bowl the year after 2019, obviously lost to the... Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, that's motivated me to get back to this point right here. So um, you'll hear me say this a lot, but I want this one more than I've ever wanted a, a Super Bowl in my life. And it's because uh, the type of team we have, the people that we have in this thing, but also because that tier of uh, teams that have done it twice have uh, gone down in history as uh, some of the greats. She's unbelievable. She's, uh, she's rewriting the history books herself. Uh, I told her I'll have to hold up my end of the bargain and come home with some hardware too. Um, it's similar to playing in front of my family, you know, it's, uh, you know, that's, they're the reason why I do play, you know, they're the reason why I go out there and play with such excitement. Um, you know, my, fa my, my family has given me the tools and the, uh, the love for sports in this game. Um, so to be able to go out there and represent them in a, in a way and give them something to cheer for, it's the best feeling. I've been to a Vegas wedding. Vegas weddings are out of control. Absolutely insane. I don't know if I'll ever have a Vegas wedding. Now, athletes weren't the only celebrities at Super Bowl opening night. We also ran into longtime Las Vegas prop comic, Carrot Top. Carrot Top, what brings yeah. you to Super Bowl opening night? I don't even know what's happening. Is there a game in town? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's really exciting. I mean, being in Vegas and uh, living here and having the Super Bowl come here for the first time, I've never done something like this. I've never been this close to... Uh, like I see, I've seen on TV as a kid when they interview him on media day. So we're sitting literally right there. It's just very exciting. 
Um, it's cool. Yeah, I don't know how I got invited, but thank you for inviting me, whoever invited me. Do you plan on getting up there and asking any questions? I have a question for all. Well, for I have, I have a different question for each person. I was going to ask, ask Coach Reed um, when the when the the, the, uh, the Raiders had a play in their in their in their game called Carrot Top, an actual play. It was a it, they, you'd actually hear the quarterback like Carrot Top, Carrot Top. So I was going to ask him if, if he would consider maybe having a Carrot Top play. For the Chiefs, maybe that might be the play that you know takes him and wins the Super Bowl. No. What did that make you feel like when you learned that the Raiders had a play called Carrot Top? It was unbelievable. All I hoped is that it worked, as <laughs> I hope the play did good. <laughs> and they said no, it worked like four out of five times. So better than any dentist, right? Four out of five times. So uh, yeah, it worked good. It was great though. I mean, who would think you'd ever hear Carrot Top? Carrot Top. Yeah. Hey, speaking of Coach Reed, yes. uh, he has red hair, you have red I hair. He has hair. blamed when he gets angry in the past on his red hair. Do you understand uh, yeah. that? Yeah, I do. I mean, redheaded people, they always say we have uh, hot tempers. Um, and he's a coach, for God's sake. So he he does pretty good. He can hide under the mustache, right? And he can decide, okay, like a mustache, you can't even see him. Uh, yeah, he's a good coach. He's a, And he's a nice guy. Seems like a nice guy. Like kind of guy like you want to have a beer with, yes. Last thing, congratulations on extending your residency you to much. 2030 in Las Vegas. What yeah. has this city meant to your career? Everything in the world. I mean, been very lucky to have uh, even one year in this town. Uh, we did the first year, then we did three years, and then we end up looking back, and now we're going to be here 20, almost, yeah, something like 30 years uh, in Vegas. And at the Luxor alone, 18 of them. So it's been amazing. And they just signed another six, uh, five years. So we're excited. Good for you. Carrot Top, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, PBS. Thank you, guys.